In my last video tutorial, I explained how to program the ESP32 camera module using the Arduino IDE. In this video, I covered the basic settings including the ESP32 camera module board manager installation and I also explained how to fix the most common errors including the detected camera not supported and the camera prop failed with error 0x2004. I also explained some other issues. So I highly recommend first watch my previous tutorial on the ESP32 camera module and then you can resume from here. In today's episode you will learn how to design your own ESP32 camera development board which can be used for the live video streaming, sensors monitoring and controlling anything you want. The PCB boards used in this project are sponsored by the PCBA company. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, PCBA also provides a great variety of services including aluminum PCB, rigid flex, metal core, flexible, high frequency, high TG, thick copper, HDI and LED PCBs. The sign up process hardly takes one minute and you are welcomed with a $5 welcome bonus. What are you waiting for? Go and get your first prototype order for free. Click on the first link in the description. To get rid of the jumper wires, I designed the ESP32 camera development board which consists of two circuits provided with the male and female headers, due to which these boards can be easily connected together without using the jumper wires. The ESP32 camera module nicely sits in on the top circuit. Using this setup, the ESP32 camera module can be powered up using multiple voltage sources. The bottom side circuit is provided with the 7805 voltage regulator due to which the ESP32 camera module can be powered up using a 12 volt adapter, battery or a solar panel. So using a 12 volt adapter or battery along with the live video streaming, you can also control 12 volt relays, electronic locks, small DC motors, etc. The I.O. devices and sensors can be connected with these male headers. The ESP32 camera module can also be powered up using a 5 volt adapter or 5 volt LiPo battery pack. You can also power up the ESP32 camera module using 3.3 volt LiPo battery. If you plan to use it only for the live video streaming, then you can remove the bottom circuit connect the 5 volt LiPo battery and that's it. So before I'm going to explain the circuit diagrams and PCBs, first let's practically see how we can use a 12 volt adopter and 5 volt LiPo battery. This is completely portable. It can be used in robots, drones, security systems, automation projects, sensor monitoring, 
automatic door opening system and hundreds of other projects where you need the live video streaming along with the sensors monitoring and control. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the schematic of the top PCB board. As you can see, there is nothing complicated. Male headers are connected with the power supply and I.O. pins of the ASP32 camera module. The SV3 and SV4 male headers are used to make connection with the bottom circuit board. The JP1 and JP2 male headers are used to connect 3.3V and 5V LiPo batteries. While all the other male headers are used for interfacing sensors and other output devices. This is the schematic of the bottom PCB board. Female headers are connected with the power supply and I.O. pins of the ESP32 camera module. The bottom PCB board is provided with the 5V regulated power supply based on the linear voltage regulator LM7805. A voltage source greater than 6 volt and less than 28 volts is connected with a female power jack J1. This way the ESP32 camera module can also be powered up using a solar panel, 12 volt battery or a 12 volt adapter etc. I also added headers for the 12 volt and ground connections if in case you want to control 12 volt relays, small 12 volt DC motors etc. Finally, I designed PCBs using the Gatesoft Eagle schematic and PCB designing software. I double checked all the connections and generated the Gerber files. For checking the Gerber files, I used the PCBWay online Gerber Viewer. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to generate the Gerber files and how to use the PCBWay online Gerber Viewer. I will provide a link in the description. Finally, I uploaded the Gerber files along with the desired information. These are the top and bottom circuit boards. As you can see, the quality is really great. Next, I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. This is how the final circuit boards look after soldering. These circuits are ready for the use. I will use the same program which I explained in my previous tutorial on the ESP32 camera module. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Let's first check the ESP32 camera development board using the 12 volt adapter. After powering up the ESP32 camera module, you will need the local IP address for the live video streaming using the same Wi-Fi network. I have already explained this in the first video. So I know about my local IP address. As you can see, it's working. Now it's totally up to you for what purpose you are going to use this. You can also let me know in a comment. Now let's check this using the 5 volt LiPo battery pack. The advantage of using the LiPo battery pack is that it becomes completely portable and this way you can use this in robots, cars, any other place which you want to monitor. In my upcoming tutorials, I will use the same ESP32 camera development board for monitoring and controlling a door lock. I will use this camera with different types of sensors and so on. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.